Hi, I'm Pastor Gary Rideout, one of the co-senior pastors here at St. Andrews United Methodist Church with my wife, Jane. And here we are in a situation we were hoping to have to come to again. Uh, we have seen the, uh, the cases of COVID with the Delta variant rising in the community and rising at a very drastic rate. So we are looking at ways that we can keep this campus safe, this church safe, our community safe. Uh, we've heard from a lot of different people but we are gonna to have to make uh, some changes this, this weekend in our Sunday services, and we wanted to tell you about them. So these are the protocols that we are asking of everyone who is in-house worshiping with us. Um, we are asking, we, are, we will be social distancing, which we actually began last week. We think that's important, so we will space out. Uh, we are also uh, still requiring anybody who is unvaccinated to absolutely wear their mask. Um, for the protection of the whole community. But we are also strongly urging everybody that is vaccinated as well to wear a mask indoors so that we can keep everybody safe. Um, we think that we need to make that our priority and we think we're at a point that it's really important um, uh, with the situation in Florida. We are also adding something this week to the protocols, and that is that we will be asking all of the children connected and all the volunteers and workers working in children's ministry to also be wearing masks, and that will be mandatory. We don't like any of these. Um, nobody wants to have to mask up. But if you think of it this way, it's one hour on Sunday to protect those around us, to protect the kids, to protect those who are not able to um, be vaccinated for, for many reasons. We wanna put each other first. And so those are the protocols we're asking of you. Like I say, I, we were hoping that we would have to, to come here again, but here we are. We just have to de deal with it, to face it. And the number one uh, priority is to keep our campus, keep our families, especially our children, to keep them safe, to keep our, our church safe. So this is why we are doing this. and. We've had many, uh, you know, we've heard many disagreements back and forth, which way to go, but we as Christians need to err on the compassionate side, to take care of one another, to look out for one another. And I want to close with a passage from Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. For you were called to freedom, brethren and sisters, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become servants to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Hope to see you in church or live stream this Sunday. God bless.